Look, man, we are back with another reaction video on this channel. Before we even get into it, I'm going to highly encourage you guys to leave a like down below and subscribe as well, man. But today, very interesting video. Diamond Flawless's apology, okay? Everybody knows what role she played in the Smooth Geo and King Sid altercation, all right? We've already reacted to the fight. We've reacted to all of the drama. We've reacted to Diamond Flawless pulling up to King Sid's house. We've reacted to her being on live with her father talking shit about King Sid. And today we're going to react to the apology of all of her all of her uh, uh what is it called? Foul actions. Like I said, without further ado, we're about to hop right into it. Leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new. Let's get it, man. Hey guys, it's Diamond. Today I just want to talk to you guys one-on-one. Pero te papi, pero te. Diamond Charleston to you, okay? So basically, I wanted to just, just say where I've been because a lot of you guys have not really known where I've been. I've been, I've been going through it behind the scenes, so I'm just going to basically come to Another mental home. You as one. That's where she's been. Another therapy house. What That's where she's been. So, um, before I start the video, I just wanted to say I've been through a lot of traumatic experiences, a lot of PTSD, a lot of things where I've been going through really deep situations. A lot of you guys probably have known that I've been through. Is it just me? Some of the things that I'll touch a little bit on the surface of things. Is it just me or is she speaking differently? But this is more of like. An apology video to all my She's fans, carrying herself differently. My family and to everyone around me. So, yeah. I'm just going to start off where it's began. So, it all started June 12th. I was at Fountain Blue. It's this really, really nice resort in Miami. And basically... She's not happened, speaking very ratchet like she normally does, which is I good. I got into a little situation, a sticky situation. So, I went there by myself with my dog, Dazzle. So, technically not by myself, but I went with my dog. And um, my security guard for at the time, his, we're going to name him. Red. We'll call him Red because I don't want to say his actual name. So Red was my security guard for the night and I did not feel comfortable with like going by myself to this club that I was going to go to which is called King of Diamonds. A lot of you guys heard of it. I actually went to G5 earlier that night and I spent $900 that night which was really, really expensive at a strip club that I wasn't even supposed to really get into because I'm actually the age of 19 so I don't know. But long story short, I went to King of Diamonds with my so. I thought this was supposed to be an apology video, not a what happened that night video, but we will continue. Oh, security guard Red, he's not, he wasn't the best security guard at that night because he actually put a roofie and a date rape drug, it's also called date rape drug, in my drink. So a lot of you guys probably have seen this video, I probably have it right here, where I'm on the pole or like whatever I'm doing, I don't even know what video is out right wow. now. Wow. I do have brief psychosis where I don't really remember a lot of the events, like traumatic events that happened. Um, wow. Medication that mom. But, um, yeah, so basically, I got roofied, and it makes you hypersexual, so I was on the pole. Um, I'm not a stripper. I not There's nothing wrong with being a stripper. I actually made a lot of money that night, <laughs> and I gave it to the strippers, not to be, like, joking about it, but, like, this is what happened. Um, so that happened, and I gave the money to the strippers, and I, like, left that that club with literally zero dollars to my name like nothing to my name so it was really traumatic to me because i was drugged which i didn't know until later because i wasn't even drinking i was only drinking out of my water so from what i think that happened with um my security guard red is that he put it in my drink in my water bottle because he was holding all my things the reason why i believe this because next morning he was like, oh, Diamond, like, do you want to go upstairs to your room at the Fountain Blue? We're at the Fountain Blue. He's like, do you guys want to go upstairs to your room? Like, oh, like, talking to me. I was by myself. He's like, oh, I know you want to have sex, this and that. And then that's when I realized that I was drugged. Earlier that morning, let me later on what that morning, the? he had left. And I believe he was the one that called the police. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I started acting very weird. I wasn't in the same, like, mind state. Also, mind you, I haven't been sleeping. So I woke up from a nap. I slept at the pool for like five minutes, woke up from a nap, boom, got Baker acted because I was taking like items. I was walking, running around with my speakers, screaming, like going crazy. And then, um, basically protesting, playing FTP, F the police and all the stuff Then I took the American flag that was in the Fountain Blues, like beach, took the American flag, dumped it in the ocean and was screaming like, F this place, I hate it here. And 
few minutes later, I started crying, like bawling my eyes out because I thought I was going to die. Where is this video going? I thought this was supposed to be an apology. She's talking about her night as she was roofied. I literally thought I was going to die. I don't get it, bro. I didn't, thank God. Um, and then two seconds later, boom, the police were there and I got sent to a hospital called Mount Sinai. So there's a hospital like five minutes away from Fountain Blue where I stayed for a week. And at Mount Sinai, um, basically, they, it was very traumatizing. <laughs> okay, so at Mount Sinai, I got there. The police brought me. They didn't even arrest me. They detained me, which means they just took me in the, um, the police car and drove me. Um, they dropped me off there. And it was a very, it was a lot more details, but it's, it's just for ridiculous i got there and basically i don't even remember oh they brought me to the emergency room and boom this girl i was screaming like screaming 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 because i didn't want to be there but when i first walked in there i walked in there like this like with my arms behind my back and i was like oh like you know like i know i have to go in here like whatever i don't even remember talking i just remember walking in as if i was handcuffed and i asked the police i was like why didn't you handcuff me and like oh you don't need to be handcuffed I don't know. It felt like a movie, like a dream. Then I get there. She and was then, off the um, molly. What happened? I forgot. Let me think. Where is she I going with this, there. bro? Bro, where are you going with this, bro? Let's fast forward a little bit. The hospital, Mount Sinai. It was fun. I'm not going to say it was fun, but, like, I had my experience there. So, like, I had a roommate. Um, My roommate was, like, this Cuban mom. It was really, really funny. She was um really nice. And talking in spanish so now i can speak fluent spanish which is really really cool i learned a lot when i was she learned she learned how to speak spanish in a week calm gotcha um, they told me that i was manic when i got there so when i left and they told me that i was psych not psychosis psychotic um schizophrenic they told me i was schizo which means you hear voices which i don't hear voices so that was very weird, which I don't like. Um, I'm on very heavy meds, which I actually am on meds for schizophrenic schizophrenia right now. So that's probably why I don't remember things and I move very, very slow. So I might feel seem like a little bit happy or pepped about this. Not that it's happy, it's not a happy subject, but I do look at like I'm very optimistic, so I look at the good side of things really because me and Denzel already had our situation where I thought that he was being... I was seeing things very blurred. So everything was very, <clears> like, <throat> triggering. Like, if you said a certain name, even if you said Jason's name, I would feel some type of way. So, long story short... Here we are. Denzel and I had a situation where I felt like he was being too aggressive with his girlfriend. And Denzel, my little brother, he's 12 years old, so I was like, look, Denzel, like, you can't be like that. So that's kind of what happened, why I brought Denzel to Jason's house. Because a lot of you guys know parts of the stories but you don't know the main story even jason himself doesn't know the story and this is why i brought him to jason's house which i shouldn't have done i do want to say sorry for that um i brought Denzel to jason's house because jason and i have as you guys know has done a lot of things to me and our relationship has been very traumatizing to my soul and my heart um because i was dating him and you know a lot of things have went left which you guys can research about later um but i want to say sorry to jason for bringing that drama to being on your property because anything could have happened that was on his property he could have done anything to me and I, it would have gotten away with it so that's very very dangerous i don't like how jason did put his hands on my brother i'm not going to say anything about that like do too much but J jason i really wish you had, wouldn't have done that i just want to address that in that video because i do remember you putting his, your hands on my brother and me telling you not to also i do want to apologize to brianne his girlfriend um for all right so after july 1st that was that was cool that was whatever that's what happened what's wrong with this girl bro that was a weak ass apology if you ask me no cap and i did go to his house and a lot of things happened <laughs> <clears throat> so July 5th, July 4th, I don't remember because my parents actually gave me my meds that I got for schizophrenic, which I'm not schizophrenic, like I'm not, and that's on period, even my doctor said I'm not, but he gave me meds for it, which I don't understand, so I went July 4th, I had went to Walmart, picked up my meds at the pharmacy, sorry if I'm talking fast, I'm really like anxious, okay, picked up my meds at the pharmacy, and um, what happened? Like, oh, I literally passed out for the whole day because 
I'm allergic to the meds. It's actually bro. What is this girl talking about, bro? I'm I'm honestly getting tired of listening to her talk. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm honestly getting sick and tired of listening to her speak. I'm not even lying. Like, like the shit is actually starting to annoy me, bro. I called the police on myself because my parents at that time took away my phone, took away my laptop, took away all my social media, everything that I have of mine, which is really hurtful because I do have my own place. I do have my own items. So it was very hurtful that I wasn't able to use a phone or use an iPad, which I know why they did it, but like it was very hurtful to me. So I stole my brother's phone, not stole, like snuck my brother, my brother's phone while he was sleeping and I called 911 and I told the police to come get me. So the police came and got me. Um, I ran away from home and I was gonna have, I was having an anxiety attack, a panic attack. The poli Once the police came, I almost passed out and the police were asking me questions and I told them, you know, my situation with my parents and da da da. Then the ambulance came to get me and they brought me to the Delray Medical Center, um, Fair Oaks Pavilion, where I stayed for two weeks straight. Um, so I got Baker acted again. The police asked me when they got to me, they said, Diamond, do you either want to go with us or do you want to go with the paramedics? I chose to go with the paramedics, of course, because I am EMR certified and I love paramedics. Like, I love them. They would have saved my life. And they actually knew me from YouTube, which was really crazy. But anyways, that's beside the point. So I got there. I got into the, um... I don't know why I, I expected anything more. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I I honestly expected more, and I don't know why because this this is this is a weak ass bullshit ass apology. Um, it seems like she's just making like excuses for all of her actions, more so of like a story time rather than an apology video. And I genuinely feel like apology is well deserved because she did make a very 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 big deal on the internet, and I'm assuming in real life about what happened. You get what I'm saying? So, it just seems like she has, she's just exposing herself rather than actually apologizing. That's just me. But I'm not going to continue watching this video because she's honestly blowing mine. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm tired of hearing her just make excuses and shit. She's not a healthy person. There is something, in fact, mentally wrong with her, which is why she does take pills. So, I'm not going to even say anything about that. But stay tuned to Natchez TV for more like content. Man, I'm going to catch you on the next one, bro. Peace.